You two have a choice. You and your lover. Sister, we we have the same mom and dad. I know what his sister is. As I was saying, you and your sister have a choice. You can resist, in which case, I have to napalm the both of you. Or one of you can make the tough choice. Take your own life. Consider your punishment for the crimes committed against the law. Eat my ass, motherfucker! Look at all those brains. Who knew? Officer? Yeah, let's see. There you go. Oh, that's why you're quiet. You're from Orange County. I've heard barbaric things those insiders will do to their own to keep them in line. But you, you won't need words to let others know you cross paths with Agent Stone. Let's go, boys. Just in case, decide to take the path of your brother. You have a nice day now, ma'am. Supper time! Stu, I love you, but this is all your fault. How was I supposed to know the woods would be crawling with butchers? Talking about getting this exile. You had to get caught sleeping on duty. Hey, you were sleeping too. I wasn't the one snoring like a golden heat. It's called sleep apnea. It's a real medical condition. And it'd be a lot more manageable if you hadn't traded in my CPAP machine for porno. Excuse me for trying to get you something dope for your birthday. You know what's dope? A full eight hours of sleep. Dreaming is dope. Francis! Why did you season both meat bags and teriyaki sauce? Francis, we talked about diversifying flavors. Fine. Um, oh, I'll cover the thick one in lemon pepper. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, God, it's so tangy, dude. I call dibs on the man titties. <laughs> Find the pigs alive before the luau. You can cut them loose. Butchers. They'd rather eat the flesh of their own kind than starve. You guys are guards? We, uh, we used to be. Uh, Mike and I were on a scouting mission from Seattle looking for trading routes. Our car broke down, and next thing you know, we're getting grabbed by these assholes. We're always on the lookout for upstanding citizens. I give you guys a choice. You try and make your way back up north, or it can be pretty dicey. Or you can take the grip. Join us, bringing law and order back to the divided states of America. What do you say? Sweet. All right. Welcome to the law. Huh? Yeah. You guys. Oh, shit. Sorry, boss. I thought you already headed to HQ. Where, Stone? I got 
got two stones for you right here. Oh. Are we flirting now? <laughs> More like pebbles. I remember what your fuckhead boss said about how if someone tells your story, it lives on forever. You'll be remembered as a guy who died with his dick in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at your shitty face! <laughs> but first, for my collection. Even without you. Fuck it. Thanks, little bunny. I wanted a better life for us. And this isn't it. Let's go find one. Hurt your tummy. Oh, yeah? Tell that to my sweet tooth. <laughs> we have to open the ice cream store. I wonder what's taking Billy so long. <laughs> Where? Stu, meet my mommy. Mommy, meet my Stu. Hi, Wesley. That's right. I still won't call you dad. You, you locked your parents in here. I wrote, 
I tried calling. They ignored me. They always ignored me. So when the world ended and the cell block opened up, I tracked them down and I left them in here to rot. Just like they left me! You, uh, you got their attention now. <laughs> yeah, I do. Mommy, Wesley, I never wanted to try out for that sitcom. I was perfectly happy doing summer stock in the Berkshires. But you needed a Lexus. You were my parents. You were supposed to be my biggest fans. But you know what? I don't need you assholes because I have found my people. And those guys out there, they love me for me. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, I don't need you! And that concludes our tour.